an overview of Lewis dot structures. How do you approach them? There's a hierarchy of how to approach them. So you need to write a Lewis dot structure. Always, first place you go, try and do a regular octet. That you're sharing electrons so that every atom has eight valence electrons, eight electrons around it. Of course, with the exception, exception of hydrogen, it only needs two. So it's always what you try first is a regular octet. Now, if you cannot do a regular octet, that's where you ex um, are going to do the coordinate covalent. Remember, this is where um, one atom moves in and says, hey, let's share, but I won't give you anything. One atom donates both of the electrons, the two electrons in the bond. What's brilliant about this is that it allows for an octet. You can still maintain an octet if one atom is sharing the two electrons. So you always um, try and um, get an octet. And if push comes to shove, then you do a coordinate covalent bond. You're looking to see if there is a coordinate covalent bond. Now, let's say that you can't do a regular octet. There's nothing to do a coordinate covalent bond. That is when finally you say, uncle, okay, I'm going to expand the octet. Now, expanding the octet, remember, is only the central atom that expands. The substituent atoms, the atoms that surround, that are outside, um, attached to that central atom, they will always have an octet. So you give them what they need and you only expand that central atom. It can expand to either a 10 or 12 electrons around that central atom. So there's your rule of thumb. There's your rule of thumb. First, always, 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 can you just do a regular octet uh, for all the atoms? If you can't, is there a coordinate covalent that you could do and it still maintains that octet? And if you can't, then you're going to expand the central atom. And that is your hierarchy in figuring out how to do Lewis dot structures. Um, now, I will um, attach to this. Um, it's every single Lewis dot structure that I found in my personal, in, in my textbook. Not that I wrote this textbook and I won't tell you which textbook, but I had a pair instructor, I gave him the key, and I said, hey, will you please write down every single Lewis dot structure you can find in this book? I will attach that at the bottom. Um, you can just look at that link, it's a PDF. I'll attach that for you. Um, so a lot of this is just exposure and experience and practice. And you will see those three steps, octet, and then coordinate covalent, and then if you can't do those, you move into the expanded octet. So if you want a reference just to look over examples of expanded octets, there's a lot in there. Um, you'll see it in the attached document. Thanks so much, have a good day, good luck.